course, Helene, also still top of mind for many of us here in the Palmetto State. The upstate still recovering after massive damage caused by the storm. And we here at News 2 put out the call for supplies. And you, the Low Country, went above and beyond, collecting over 37 tons of supplies in just three days. And that's right. And now those supplies have made their way to the people who need them most. Storm Team 2's Grace Lau live in her hometown of Chesney this morning, dropping them off. Oh, and her off. mom! Oh my goodness, and her <laughs> mom is there, Grace. And now we know these supplies were much needed. I know your heart must be so warm right now with this community giving back. Give us an update. Hey guys, yeah, Hannah, you're right. Mom is here right now, and this is my Aunt Kim as well, my mom's sister. Um, and it's been a very emotional day uh, for us here. Uh, hometown, I got videos and pictures and phone calls from you guys when you can. Um, and my heart broke, and I said, I know what I need to do. I need to go home, I need to help you guys. And I gave a call out to the Low Country News 2, gave me that platform to be able to say what we needed to say. And thank you guys so much for what you did, Low Country. And Mama, I'm here. I've made it. How do you feel right now? <laughs> I'm very emotional, and I just want to say a lot of thanks to everyone at News 2, Tanya, Russ, Rob, you, the Storm Team, Jed, Josh, um, Hannah, I love you, baby. Um, just everybody in the Low Country, we can't thank you enough. From Charleston to Chesney, and um, you have showed out and showed up for us. And now we hope to give all of this out to our community and surrounding communities here because we know people are hurting and uh, need these things, you know, and it'll help just a little bit. So we thank you so much for that. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry again. I'm really trying. Not we, we, I met you uh, out in the parking lot earlier and I started crying and I think they got it on video. This is very emotional because I was concerned for the low country during the storm and I, as we all do, forget to call my hometown, forget to call my mama and my Aunt Kim and I was able to talk on the phone with you and Aunt Kim, you're wearing your t-shirt. We got t-shirts made for this today. Mm -hmm. uh, so how does it feel seeing me come home and then seeing all this right now? I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> you see all this? I know. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Yes. I know. I'm, and I'm very proud of you. I love you. And I love, I love you. I love my hometown so much. And this has just been, y'all showed up and I called y'all and I said, I know two bodies that can help at least unload these unit trucks. And y'all showed up just in time, 1030. You were here with my whole family, uh, Dakota, brought little Josie as well. <laughs> um, and we've been out here unloading and I just love y'all so much. I'm trying not to cry on TV again because I've already done it, but I'm just so proud of what we've done here in Chesney, my hometown, and, and for the low country as well. Thank you so much from me, and like I keep mentioning, these supplies, they're not going to someone you don't know. It's going to my family. It's going to people here that we love and we know, and we're going to get to the right people. Uh, back to you guys in studio. Well, Grace, no dry eyes here in the new Sioux studio. Well, we are still collecting storm relief supplies for victims of Hurricane Helene. You can drop off those items from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. right outside our news Two studios at 210 West Coleman Boulevard. You can also scan the QR code right there on your screen to make a donation to our parent company, Next Stars Relief Fund. You can drive in partnership with the Red Cross as well.